Hello kids, how are you all today? Good? Good. I'm so happy and excited to see you, to meet you, to talk to you. I am missing you all. I miss my ear too. How are you all? Do you miss me? Oh, I don't know what did you say, but I miss you a lot. Okay class, let's start our studies. Let's back to our work. In our last class, we studied about keyboard, yes? So today we are going to do our exercise in our book on keyboard. So are we all ready and excited to learn, to write, to work on keyboard? Yes, let's start. Oh, wow. <laughs> Happy boy, huh? What is he going to say? So, what did we study in our last class? Who can say? Yes, we studied about alphabet keys, number keys, special character keys, function keys, arrow keys, caps lock keys, spacebar key, backspace key, enter key, and shift keys. Yes. Now, alphabet keys. What is alphabet keys? Alphabet keys means letters from A to Z. Yes. Number keys means numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. There are two sets of number keys. Yes. One is on the right side of the keyboard. It's known as the numeric pad. If we need to type numbers from there, there is one key known as uh, one key called numlock key. We will press that key and then we can type numbers. The second set of keys is at the top of the alphabet keys. Yes. Okay. Special character keys. Now, what are these special character keys? Special character keys means all the characters like question mark, like full stop, like uh, and sign, like hash, like brackets, okay, like at, like percentage, all these are characters, special character keys, okay. Next, what we have? Next, we have function keys. How many function keys we have? We have 12 function keys. Every function key has its own function, yes. Then we have arrow keys, four set of arrow keys, up, down, right, left. If we need to move around our cursor in on our monitor, we will use arrow keys, up, down, right, left. Then caps lock key. If I need to type something in capital letter, I will press the caps lock key only once. If I need to, I, I don't need caps lock key, I will press my caps lock key only once. Space bar. Space bar key is used to leave space in between letters words numbers and it is the longest key on the keyboard yes next backspace key backspace key is used to erase the letter on the left side of the keyboard and delete key erase the letters on the right side of the cursor yes next we studied about enter key enter key means that if we if we need to go to the new line we will press enter key then we studied about shift key. Shift key means we press shift key with any other key to type. For example, if I need to type uh, um, Piku in English, in, sorry, in capital letters, I know we can type, uh, we can press caps lock key and we can start writing. But if we, I need to use shift key, how am I going to do? I'll keep pressing the shift key and I'll press P I K U. What will I see? Everything in capital letters. Okay. Next. Uh, what else we can use with the shift key? Uh, all the special character keys is used with this shift key. We'll press, keep pressing the shift key and we'll press what special character key we want. So we studied all these set of keys. Next. How many total keys are there? 100 and four keys how many alphabet keys are there 26 alphabet keys how many number keys 10 number keys how many function keys 12 and how many arrow keys four are we all clear with this short recap before we jump into our exercise let's start one two three go take out your books your pencils erasers sharpeners keep it in front on your table let's start Please, all of you, open your books to page number 46. All of you, I should see everyone on page 46 now, huh? Done? Next, 
write down today's date at the top of the paper on the top of your book paper 20th april today is 20 april our day is monday please don't forget to write your date and day okay on page 46 then our lo please write our lo to be able to name and identify different set of keys on the keyboard done okay let's start our exercise number a match the keys with what they do i can see on my left side set of keys on my right side the functions of the keys now we have to match it number one it says arrow keys now let's read what is the function of arrow key number a it says it is used to give a space after a character no number b it takes the cursor to the beginning of the new line arrow keys no number c it says it helps you erase your mistakes arrow keys no number d it moves the cursor to any place on the screen yes good job next number two we have caps lock now let's listen sorry let's read what is the correct function and where is it caps lock number a it is used to give a space after a character no number b it takes the cursor to the beginning of the new line no number c it helps you erase your mistakes no number e it helps you type capital letters yes good next number three is the space bar the longest key number a it is used to give a space after a character yes number four backspace let's see where is the backspace key function number b it says it takes a cursor to the beginning of the new line or number c it helps you erase your mistakes yes it helps you erase your mistakes and the last one is enter key it takes the cursor to the beginning of the next line clear was it easy good let's move exercise number b tick the key you will use to erase a letter if the cursor is placed okay number one if this is just before the letter backspace or delete key just before the letter for example i have type uh, pen p e n pen and my cursor is uh, after the letter n what key i will press that is after but here we are talking about the question just before the letter what key will i press to erase n before and i will place the cursor before n and what key will i press backspace or delete yes you guess it right delete and in number two just after the letter what key am i going to press just after letter l letter n what key am i going to press yes backspace key well done done now let's move to page 47 all of you are you all with me good exercise c write true and false t for true and f for false number one the backspace key is used as an eraser true number two the caps lock key can be switched on and off true good number three there are nine number keys false there are ten number keys number four we use the enter key to add a word in between no we use spacebar so it's false bravo year two well done good job next let's move forward exercise d show the following keys on the keyboard 
by writing their numbers in the circle now we can see that there is a keyboard okay and they have drawn some empty circles and at the top they have written that number one it should be enter key mark enter key on this keyboard mark space bar sorry mark backspace mark caps lock space bar num lock so number one is enter key can you tell me where is the number uh, sorry enter key on the keyboard if you don't know please look into your key keyboards yes enter key next number two it says backspace backspace correct good number three it says caps lock key well done here too next space bar the longest key and then the last one we have num lock key good job next fun time a the letters on the left need spaces to read as the sentences on the boxes mark the places where you would place the cursor for the space bar one has been done for you now on the left side you can see that the two sentences are written without any space in between and see on the right side you can see that it's written like a proper sentence now on the left side we are going to place the cursor where we will leave after what word we will leave space okay so let's read what is uh, number one i am in class two so they have done for us number one after i they have left a space what after what i'm going to leave a space again after m then after n then after s class s clear next number two after i after e anything else no now all of you please turn your page to page 48 all of you now page 48 b look at the keyboard shown down and do the following now i want your four colors out i want only green pink yellow blue these four colors i can i show i want it outside no other colors than these only green pink yellow blue please no other color than these four colors green pink yellow blue okay now now listen carefully and do it sentence number one color the keys q w e r t y how many words are these q w e r t y six letters you are going to color in green show me everyone your green colors yes only these six letters on the keyboard you are going to color in green please only these six keys no other key you are going to color in green see I have made the border in green okay only these six keys you will color in green no any other color no any other key please then number two all of you show me your pink colors good you are going to color any four special keys in pink four special keys in pink Pink. any four special keys in pink okay no other color so I have colored caps lock key space bar enter key and backspace if you want to color you can color delete key arrow keys shift keys okay but in pink huh next all of you show me your yellow colors now color the keys with the symbols now we are going to color the symbols and where are these symbols on numbers at the top of the alphabets over there we are going to color at this number one character i'm going to find on number two number then we have hash i am going to find it on number three then percentage sign it's on number five then star I'm going to find it on number eight and then brackets is on number nine so only 
one, two, three, four, five characters. That is at, hash, percentage, star, open bracket. These five you are going to color in yellow. No other keys you are going to color in yellow. See? Am I clear to all class? Good. Next, number four, color the function keys blue. How many function keys are there? 12, and we know where are the function keys. Blue, well done. Next, number five, they say, count the total number of keys on the keyboard. We know how many keys are there on the keyboard. How many? 104 keys on the keyboard. Very good. So, class, here we finish our lesson about keyboard. I hope that you all might be clear with different set of keys on the keyboard now. But if you have any questions still in your mind, please feel free to ask me. I'm always there to help you all, okay? Okay, my class? Thank you so much.